Hey! Alright. A little bit late on one to start, but uh, look at that moisture. Quick check. They all seem to be. You're running okay. It's a lot warmer this morning. A bit of moist. Well, a couple of spots of rain in the air. Nothing to speak of. It'll be as dusty as ever. Everything's right around here. Made a couple of adjustments on the right, but everything seems to be running fine. There's beans, beans. Very good. And we got our GoPro for some nice action shots here. Should be good. Let's hook into it, boys and girls. It's there somewhere. What do you think, Kate? Nice dress you have on this morning. Dress and rubber boots. Perfect for farming, for seeding. Oh, it's doing a pretty good job considering how dry it is, but uh, ah, what are you going to do? Ah yes, the New Holland Auto Steer. She hasn't been too bad up to this point. Uh, better than I was expecting, but uh, she's going a little bit cray cray at the moment. He, she, but um, now it'll settle down. This gets a hissy fit every now and then and just goes absolutely off its meds. Here we go. Ah yes. Actually, I don't know whether there's a dead spot in this paddock or something because last year in this spot it just went nuts. So, two of these bloody uh, heads are blocked. Two of the bastards! How the hell? There should have been plenty of air and yet they're blocked. You bastards. Oh, that's not so bad. It might only be about one whip or so. Bastard. There'll still be beans there, there'll just be every other width, they'll be on 15 inch spacing right there. This is kind of the biggest plane in the bloody arse, this is. So we're this Jeez, bloody hell I hate this. I hate doing a hate missing rows. Absolutely hate it. So uh, I don't know what's going on here. It should have it's dry. Shouldn't have happened. But it has, so um, not much I can do about it. But it's a bloody annoying. Hate the look of it and it really annoys me. Bloody hallelujah. It's out. I may not have normally worried about this, but because there were two runs blocked, it 
just thought, ah, oh, it's gonna look rubbish. So, and I've got time and got beans. Might as well do what I know is not done. I mightn't be doing enough, I don't know, but I, from what I can tell, I think we'll cover it pretty well. At least cover the worst of it. But my word, is it dusty. Bloody hell, you can see the dust pouring away from those boots and all that wind, but not game. I've set it back to 4,000. It should be heaps of wind. But um, anyway. There's a machine back there somewhere. Back out <coughs> after a bit of a break, as uh, as you I don't know if I upload the uh, GoPro footage with this, but uh, in the field I had it had to add a bit more uh, liquid than I would have liked, so I left it for about three hours to dry. A little, but it's still pretty damp, so I don't know how it's going to go through. Should be okay, but I've had problems before in the past, so um, I've given it its best chance anyway, so uh, we'll just have a check whether this is running okay. And oh. Well, I was putting some beans out anyway. So, like I said, I guess it's not not too bad to sort of take it a bit steady at the moment because it's uh, looking quite uh, a bit of moisture in that one. Jeebus. Wow. That's um, limey. Wow. Okay. Might just let the air blow through there. We're going to have to make sure we don't get some block runs. I don't want all of the air pressure. Lisa is not far from home here. There's moisture coming through, but... running so that's pretty good minty as they say it's pretty minty just so long I thought just let this it blow for a while and just dry it out a bit perhaps uh, get a bit of warmth and uh get a bit of heat a bit of heat get hot Well, it's good to start with anyway, so um, we'll just let it run for a few minutes and uh, then get going. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Wow. Isn't that so pretty? Well, we're going at it again. Plenty out, uh, plenty of air this time, especially with the moisture in it. Uh, we don't want that to, uh, don't want the, one, the lines to uh, to get moist and uh, clog up, and we want to keep the keep the product moving. So it might be a bit of seed bounce, but we can't uh, do much about that, unfortunately. Oh, what's going on now? We had a uh, gear two alarm. Was, oh, God. Well, we had a look. It um, seems okay, but uh, I'll turn you off manual speed. But it does appear that uh, those roll pins that actually drive it, they want replacing. So um, we should look to do that tomorrow before we do any other when we change those sprockets out. So. Uh, Another job to add to the add to the list. On the next paddock, uh, a little bit more barley straw here, 
and it's only 20 acres here so hopefully get this done in fairly short time but I'll just have to check how those beans are running they seem to be going okay but uh, yeah I have adjusted uh, some of it up a little bit to try and counter any uh, problems with uh, with moisture but uh, it's going okay at the moment So this paddock with beans is planned even though we've got the shed going there. So that will necessitate a little spot of uh, musical machinery. So that's alright. We'll just move these things out of the road and probably have to move them again at some stage as well because no doubt it won't be in the right spot wherever I put it. So uh, oh well, makes life interesting. For you. Let's get you out of here. Right, let's give you a bit of a snake around, try and get that back wheel free too. That ratchet on the bonnet. God forsaken bastards. They are like the enemy. They are the enemy of machinery and just life in general. <sighs> Nothing like a spot of recreational backing to. Uh, this is actually not too, I don't mind backing this, this is easy, it's a nice long drawbar, you can get it into all sorts of spaces that you wouldn't imagine you could, and look at that, beautiful, perfect, and you'll be able to get her out of there too, should be able to do without too much trouble, if it goes in, must come out. Oh, it's hammering along now. That'll be good for the washing, but uh, that's that one down. Only an acre left to go. And I noticed we broke a, a tip probably last night. No, uh, got a spare one. I'll have to replace that. Let's see how. What have we got enough left in here to do an acre? Oh yes, we do. That's fine. Oh, and that's that. Done. That's the beans. A small job here. We've got to, uh, that bottom part is broken off. So, pretty luckily, we've got a spare one. So, got to chain him over. Be uh, fun getting that out, I imagine, but uh, well, we'll do our best. i got to see if there's any chance of it actually coming undone or whether it'll break. I just want to do it before I go anywhere in case I've got to actually go and get a new uh, a new uh, screw. I'm not sure whether I've got any spares. Maybe I do. Here you goes. And we broke the bloody thing. My God. Wow. With that breaking and uh, with how hard and the small size of what that is, I think the only way is to drill it out. Now it's got to find whether I've actually got another one. Here we go getting this thing off. Oh baby, this is going to be fun. Now I should have the bastard now. We've just drilled through the head. And I'll just punch the other out because there's no way in this world I'm going to drill through the whole lot. That high tensile stuff is bloody hard. Well, you're off now. See? Broken or gone. Anyway, that's it. Very good. Now to get the new one. Oh, we got all this air blue, uh, all these containers here. Let's get this all set down at Port Wakefield. Wow, what an adventure. But it's cheaper than in the city. There you go. Alright. High tech. Oh, we're filling here. Add balloon to 20 litre. 
comes and brought lots of wifey. I didn't have the magnet here, so it looked like it was going to be a wasted trip. But they had it inside. Go over to see if we've got a roll pin for this. Oh, this sprocket's got to be really. Alright, this isn't too bad. Not a lot in here to clean out, so clean these two bins out and uh, get it set for the canola. Right, now to, uh, yeah, you can empty out there, but you've got this bloody sprocket in the road, but generally easiest way is to empty it into a tub. Instead of, if you got more in, you can put an auger hopper under, but that there's not a lot in here. We'll just empty it into this tub, put it in the tractor bucket and take it back and just uh, put it back in the auger, back into the bin. One hand is hey. Right, and because I'm lazy, I'm just gonna That was pretty painless. We've got this other one empty too now. Right. Nice full bucket of beans. Well, time to get you in the bin before, well, I don't know whether it's really going to rain, but that was pretty painless. I was actually happy with that. Now for the next step. <coughs> so this came out here when we were planning to sow this canola. We had uh, about three, there might have been four mill down here, but see, it's wet the top inch. is wet now, but Underneath, dry as a bone. Dry as a bloody bone still. It's sort of, uh, I reckon it's in the danger zone now where it might uh, wet enough to germinate but not wet enough to sustain it if we don't get proper rain for a month. I planned to sow it but I was hoping to either sow it bone, it's a bit more spread out actually through here Yeah, it's the same deal. And I reckon I'd like to see what happens tomorrow when we get proper rain. It's I'm not sure I'd want to have it sown now or not. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, time will tell. I'll be watching. A few other blokes have sown quite a bit. Hopefully it's enough to get some uh, action happening with uh, maybe a bit of weed germination, I don't know. Still nothing to knock down out here. A little bit on the edge, but nothing much out here. I'd like to see, this is tricky farming. Would have been probably just easier to have it done, but uh, it's not done, so it's, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's actually wetter than here. Wetter than you think. So, based on the old test, or the, the top inch, that's wet enough to grow, but that's soaking down. If you take a sample of the whole profile, it's, uh, yeah, that's not wet enough to... It's wet enough to spoil, not wet enough to to grow.